What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Double A coming at you live and in person again. So, something came in the mail. All right, so what did we get here? Uh, well, we'll put the phone down and we'll open it up and find out. Uh, All right, so we got the turn signal switch in as well as the high beams. Which seems to be a pretty decent um, reproduction. We'll have to check to see if we can make sure that the wiring is the same. Colors. 12 volt. Yay! And we also got the ignition switch. So this is the awesome part is it came with ends already crimped on it. Makes it so much easier. So what do you say? It, uh, we we'll go outside and we start tearing down and putting this in. If any of you are wondering uh, what that noise was, it's just the printer. Man, it smells like an old car in here. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, the difference in the two, we're missing a little bit of copper. Everything looks like it's just worn out on this older one. So let's uh let's get her going get her done right we need four screws taken out here i can pull this out i have to fish the wires up through there that i'm gonna have to check on that so if that's busted i'm gonna have to get a new one of those that is a bushing and then there's a button we got to press back there to get that ignition switch out but let's look at the wiring real quick and make sure that it looks the same all right so right off the rip i can tell you right now there's an issue this is uh, been replaced before and it's been spliced in uh, not too well if I may add you see there's a couple wires disconnected there I doubt I had anything to do with the uh, with it not getting power to the gauges and whatnot but we can hook them up and test it anyhow so they've evidently got one out of a junkyard and it wasn't the same color scheme so they switched it but we still don't have the same color scheme but we will figure this out all right so i hooked it back up but guess what no avail still no power i'm pretty sure that switch is just out but Oh, look at that. You know what that means? That means that we're going to be doing a Speedo rebuild. All right. Those are always fun. Get this air box. Yeah, I really don't like them fenders. I think I'm going to go with like a 66. Yeah, look a whole lot better. We got to get this air box out of the way. I want to be able to be able to access all this without having a whole lot of troubles. It looks like the wiring diagrams pretty shoddy on this thing wow so it probably needs to be rewired i have to be extra careful make sure i don't break off any tabs or anything rewiring will come one day and one of those fuse relay blocks back there if you can see it get another relay for a fuel pump guys you just can't make this shit up popped off the uh fresh air look at all the damn ladybugs you just can't make this up Ladies and gentlemen, there's no doubt in my mind people have been in here and been working on this. I found the horn. Uh, we've got the horn that's ground off to the um, to the speedometer casing there. We've got wires that have no end to them. So I'm not really sure what's going on here. I'm going to have to get a wiring diagram, but I need to clean this up the best I can for the time being. Wow, look at that job there. All right, let's see here. Yeah, y'all can't tell. It's getting dark out here, so I got the old ignition switch out and the new ignition switch in. Just had to double check some wiring, so it's hard to find a schematics. And 71 is a one year only, okay? This is the only year that they did the ignition switch <laughs> wiring the way they did. It was hard to find a schematic. I found one. I actually went over to J-Bugs where I bought the ignition switch from and they had some pretty useful information. So, did that solve the problem? No. 
some of it. I am getting power to everything now, but I'm still not getting power to the starter. So that is our next feat, is figuring out why we don't have any power to the starter. All right, so this comes directly off the battery. This wire runs back to the ignition. Now on that car out there, this wire is hooked to the battery. And I think that's gonna be our problem. All right, so this is the wire that comes from the ignition switch. The big red wire there goes up under there. I'm oh, sorry, I don't know if you saw that. Big red wire goes up under there into the wiring harness. Comes out right here and into the ignition. So when I take and jump that wire over to the battery. It turns over. It works. We did good. You brought it back. Okay, now I got a very strong smell of old gas, which may have been in the carburetor itself. No gas in the bulb. Um, so everything's working, so apparently that gas tank uh, is empty. Now, just to make sure, what I'm gonna do is pull that gauge out and move the needle to float and see if it moves to the gauge in here. So, it took me all damn day and half tonight, but we got it turning over now. So that's another step in the right direction. I just had to keep fucking with it. I love these little cars. Through all that, We finally got it turning over. Now, we gotta get gas in it and uh, get it primed up and see what's gonna happen. Be safe, love, peace, and chicken grease. Catch you on the flip side.